In the next exercise, our goal is to create the year and month slicer. Of course, we need to create a new column for that, but the common mistake in here is that uh, people uh, create year and month slicer uh, and use just a, a simple formula, like take just the month coming from the order date. I will show uh, what kind of errors you might expect, because in general it looks fine. You've got the year and the month. You can even separate them somehow, for example, by using a dot or a, a minus. I will do it too. Uh, but in general, it looks fine. The problem is when you insert a new pivot table to work with this kind of a slicer, uh, showing, for example, sales by region, and you will try to create a slicer based on the refreshed uh, pivot table, your year month slicer is not going to create the correct order of the months. It starts uh, with January and then October, November, December, because the data is sorted um, alphabetically. So instead of just using the month formula at the end, it is recommended to use something like uh, the text formula coming from the uh, order date where you can uh, set your months to be double M as the long version of the uh, month. And right now you can see year and month are uh, aligned. Uh, so if you refresh everything, your order of the data will be correct. In here, you can also see that when you have some old elements on slicers, they might still be kept by a slicer, but within the slicer settings, you can always the, ask the slicer to not uh, to show the uh, items which were deleted from the data source. By doing so, those old elements will disappear.